June 15, 1991. The Philippines. 5,770 feet Mount Pinatubo becomes a monstrous cannon. 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide along with ash blasted 25 kilometers into the stratosphere. Combining with atmosphere, an aerosol cloud shield is created. What actually happens is that sulfur dioxide emitted during eruption enters the stratosphere and is converted through a series of chemical transformations into sulfuric acid droplets and sulfate particles less than one micron in size. Extremely light, these particles escape the Earth's gravitational pull and distributed over the stratosphere by upper winds in the atmosphere, covering the globe. The result, nearly 2% of the incoming sunlight deflected, leading to lowering of temperatures. Dust-like smudges in the stratosphere and a possible damage to the ozone layer. The sulfate aerosols from Pinatubo found their way over India in a few weeks. This whole phenomenon would have gone unnoticed but for LIDAR, a laser radar used by scientists at the Physical Research Laboratory Ahmedabad. But what is LIDAR? An acronym for light detection and ranging. The LIDAR is one of the most powerful radars to study the middle atmosphere. LIDAR experiments are usually conducted at night to avoid the background skylight being detected by the telescope. It works on the concept of sending laser beams and pulses and receiving its reflection back from the atmosphere. As this intense and well collimated laser beams travel into the atmosphere, they collide with air molecules and dust particles. The light scattered back from different altitudes are collected using a telescope. A highly sensitive photomultiplier tube kept to the focus of the telescope detects the weak signals, even those as weak as 10 raised to the power of minus 20 coming from far off altitudes. The LiDAR works on the concept that the intensity of the signals being received is directly proportional to the amount of particles responsible for scattering the light. From the time delay between when the laser pulse left the laser and at what time we received the backscattered signal, we can calculate the altitude. The maximum radiation occurs where the field of view of the telescope and the laser beam overlaps. In our present system, we use an altitude resolution of about 96 meters and in each altitude interval, we measure the intensity. So when this Tumatubo erupted, the speculation was that since it has put large amount of material, almost three times more, the particles are also going to stay for a long time. But what we have found is that the nature has its own cleaning mechanism. When there are large number of these particles, they also coagulated at a faster rate to form a bigger particle and then gravitational settling. All this takes about three years time. So we have been monitoring this layer for three to four years and we found that yes, the layer is coming down. The application of LIDAR goes far beyond tracing volcanic emissions and aerosol particles. Air density and temperature profiles are some of the other applications of this technology. The day is not very far when meteorologists could be using such technologies to infer atmospheric temperatures, wind systems, and monitoring levels of water vapor and ozone in the atmosphere.